this video, all the Try Guys today will be dressing like Eugene. We're about to get way hotter. My core has never been more engaged. This is a lady's outfit, correct? I'm thrilled. This is the best day ever. This is the future, y'all. The stuff that Eugene is wearing today are things that I'm going to misinterpret three years from now. Feisty little bitch. Damn. Whoa. My biggest fear today is that all of us will look like dorks in his cool clothing that it will prove that it wasn't the clothes. This is exciting because Eugene definitely dresses the best out of the four of us. Damn, he pulls off some cool outfits. He wears things that no one else in my life I know can wear. It's cause he's hot. They're not loud, they're just nice. His wardrobe's heavy. It's like a good painting. Each thing on its own, you'd be like, oh, that's very normal. What's all together? It's beautiful. There's so many choices you could have, like leather jacket with stuff on it, Eugene. Gender fluid, Eugene. I own a yacht, Eugene. And he also has like the very beautiful, like high-end looks. If we go all the way to like a red carpet, Eugene, I mean, that is way, it's, that's, you know, fashion, fashion, capital F. I remember my first day working with Eugene. He was wearing this really deep V, and I was like, man, what a hot douche. I'd say he has had an evolution, but whereas like my line graph might be more like this, his might be more like it already started here and it just has gone up just a little bit more. He's dropped his crotch so far. Makes his pulse so huge. <laughs> oh, he's pushed all of our fashion directly and indirectly. Frankly, just being in videos with him, I was like, well, f I gotta start trying harder. There is one thing Eugene does do sometimes. We're all like, we're gonna show up wearing this, right? Because we're like doing a panel. And then we get there and Eugene is not wearing that. He's wearing the most intensely fashion forward thing in the world and we're wearing sweatpants. Lace, showing nipples, flowy, butt cheeks out. I hope someone has an exposed ass. That would be awesome. He's never done that, but like, I bet he owns it. Here we are at Eugene's Evil Emporium. Wow, what a wow. colorful collection. I decided for today that I was going to curate essentially a fashion line, so I only brought black items. Which one will I choose? This actually looks like it could be a fashion line. He loves dark clothes. He loves playing with his silhouette. I didn't even know what silhouette meant until a couple years ago. It's certainly evil villain wardrobe. I feel like my style is always changing. I'll wear athletic, I'll wear preppy, I'll wear a lot of like cis mask suiting. Eugene does something sometimes look like he's in the Matrix. Oh, 100%. Wow. If any of us are unplugged, it. it's him. I think if you can pull off an all black outfit that still screams fashion, then you're doing something right. Wow. I mean, this is thrilling. He's had this jacket for years. Wow. It's made by Diesel. He got to be a Diesel model. Oh, wow, you look cool. Yeah. It works. It's a, and a little butt flap. Oh, yeah. So when wow. mud kicks off your motorcycle, it yeah. doesn't get all up your butt. <laughs> I want them to walk away from this experience like there was something that they had on their body that they would never dare wear in daily life. Yeah, yeah. definitely works for you too. Well, I yeah. like the white underneath. I actually, I kind of like how heavy it is. It's like a weighted blanket. If I'm wearing something as simple as this sleeveless shirt with these pants, then, you know, blew out the pants, got a high waist, cut off the sleeves, wear a heel. You know, it's very simple, but I think it makes a statement. And I think that's always very powerful. I'm comfortable with my shirt off, but not with tank tops on. Okay. Is that weird? It is. It's a tank top jumpsuit. <laughs> it feels weird. I don't like it. Somehow, <laughs> on you, you look Southern. <laughs> Working, like changing out a tire on a truck. I don't think I've ever put on something that I feel less at ease in. I think challenging your comfort zone is really important through life. Clothes and food are like the easiest ways to experiment with that. Dude! 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 You like it? I love it. You look like you're in um, Greece. You'd be surprised how the majority of people do not experiment with their clothes. What do you think? <laughs> it looks <laughs> like hilarious and not the right fit. We've done videos of doing it, but I've still never on my own worn a crop top. <laughs> and now it's, honestly, it's better. This, this makes sense now. Here's cheap and simple. Here's whatever goofy bullshit I'm doing. He's like, simple, but nice. I think this is like, Snape on a Saturday. The state doesn't find enough like, 
uh, cauldrons for all the kids. So I do put in some of my own money to make sure the, the classroom is well stocked. School Hogwarts. Yeah. <laughs> I am very attracted to non-binary fashion and I like things that move slightly away from a uh, sort of traditional masculine silhouette. What is What it? do we think? <laughs> Somehow on you looks like you made it out of a big pillowcase. I think fashion in particular for the queer community is so much more of a statement. I don't know. I think it's time. I don't, this is why. Let's do it. By wearing a particular item, you are actually announcing something about your identity that many people are actually trying to conceal. There you go. Uh, wow, look at, look, look, look at me in the eyes. You can look me in the eyes. I can look you in the eyes. It's always this growing evolution of how much of that statement one feels comfortable making and how much that actually also aligns with their inner expression. This I like a lot, but this is a lady's outfit, correct? This is only women's clothes? Part of the reason I've sort of currently fell into more simple in terms of color, but, but challenging in form, it's something I can wear every day, but still gives the immediate nod to, hey, what's up? I'm part of the family, you know what I mean? This reminds me of when he did drag for his birthday, when he was in Charlie's Angels and he was Lucy Liu, correct? Was this so. the, the Was this that? I mean, it was yeah. similar to this. I don't think the other guys can necessarily relate to this, but it, it immediately opens up a conversation uh, if you're wearing a skirt in front of your grandmother. I think it's supposed to kind of go over your head like a, yeah. I have a sheer shirt that I think Zach needs to wear. I know he doesn't necessarily like to show a lot of skin because of body hair, but I think he needs to embrace it. The point of clothes is to cover. Now that's a cute way to do it. That's a cute way to do it. <laughs> that's a cute way to do it. There are very specific looks I've curated. Keith, I'm giving a little more of my punk style, but I really want him to wear a sleeveless shirt. And then Ned, I want him to wear the women's clothes I brought. If they don't pick what I want, then I'm gonna restyle them when they walk out. Very like 90s R&B, hip hop. <laughs> TLC kind of had an outfit kind of like this, one of them did. Yeah. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I think it's a, a two-way street, the relationship between fashion and queer identity. You want to feel both more comfortable in your own skin and also in the more outward expression through your clothing at the same time. You know, when you're young and you experiment with things like putting on a pair of heels. These are murdering shoes. Right? If you wear suiting and you're not supposed to wear suiting. These are just normal pants. Those are just nice dress pants. Hey, those are just pants. These are just pants. The tux pants. Those are very like clear moments where you kind of realize, oh, this is informing things that are inside of me. Oh, fellas. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. There's makeup. Oh my. Oh, that is part Works. of it. I think everything's connected. I think once you find that relationship between your fashion and your self-expression, it's really a beautiful thing. Uh, man. You could fit some huge balls in these. <laughs> Hello, Eugene. Eugene's evil emporium. We had a lot of fun looking through your closet. It felt like a shopping trip. We didn't fully understand all of it, and that's exciting. All right, let's start the fashion show. We're not gonna look good in Eugene's clothing. I just know it. I just know our dorky little bodies are not gonna work. I was like, what if I had the ripped jeans the flannel around the waist, and the leather jacket. I'd look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong, shit. Whoa! Yeah! 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 Look at this bad boy! Yeah! Yes! yes! The color's gone, guys. Ooh, yes! Ooh. Mm. Wow, look at your eyeliner. It yes. looks like I'm playing that When We Were Young festival. Take yeah. off the jacket, let me see that. Yeah! Oh, yes! Yes, you better f***ing work mm. that sleeveless shirt out, you stupid sexy bitch. You yeah, stupid, you stupid sexy, sexy bitch. bitch. You look like such a slut, I love it. Thank You're you so much, Eugene. Thank you so much. Yes! Yeah! There's a very particular hot gay crowd in your, you're in right now, and I'm living for it. I feel hot as f***. Yeah. yeah, you are hot. I feel like the hottest, hardest guy in the world. Keep yeah. talking, keep talking. I feel so yeah. hot. I was like doing the eyeliner and fixing my hair. I was like, who's this? Who's this smoke show? When and I was a young man, my father took me in the city. Yeah, I know. Oh. I feel the hottest in Eugene's clothes. I'm sorry, everybody. Eugene's well, clothes are okay. the hottest. Yeah, it's hot. They're <laughs> hot. Uh, I felt good in the other guy's clothes, but I feel hot. I feel like a 
Yeah, just you're not. A, <laughs> you're like you're a cock monster over here. <laughs> Look at these arms. Wow. You sexy little slut. I feel like a huge slut. <laughs> I'm the hottest <laughs> slut in the world. I never thought this would. Are work you calling me, someone? Oh hey, Becky, your husband looks super fucking hot right now. Okay, bye. <laughs> That was it? Yeah. You just called, you didn't even FaceTime her? Nope. She's gonna be confused. She just needs to know. Hey Maggie, uh, just wanna let you know, Keith looks super f***ing hot right now. Okay, Look bye. at me, look at me. This, we should, we should find this, this style. Shirt. Maybe I should keep the outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should keep the whole I think thing. You've, I think you've just been looking at the wrong type of sleeveless shirts. I can pull it off. It doesn't mean that, you know, every video from now on I'll look like this, but it does open me up to other options. Oh, it's opening me up. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear of this whole series was looking like a doofus in Eugene's clothes. I look like a dongus. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because Eugene actually probably has a smaller closet, but he just has a lot of very good pieces. Eugene is like high fashion. He's looking at what Perry 2024 is doing, you know? Hey, bitch. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wow. Look at that boy. Oh, wow. Yay. Wow. Yes. I love the, Whoa, the snake wow. necklace. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. I'm Ooh. feeling that. Ooh. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Really nice. Feisty little bitch. Feisty little bitch. I'm yeah. A feisty little bitch. <laughs> That's right. I'm a feisty little bitch. Does it pass the nip check? Uh, can confirm. We can see them. Oh my god. Did you firm those up before walking on stage? Just well, firming them now. Continuing to firm them. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, like, if you flick your it. nipples, they get nice and hard. Do they? they and hard that. nipples are hot nipples. I That's guess. what they say. Yeah. Hard nipples are hot nipples. Yes, yes, yes. I love this. That shit's gross. You look oh, like the tuxedo pants. There they are. A European mobster who's fashionable and runs a jewelry store. Mm. A James Bond villain. I in some you ways, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow. Know it still works. So, Zach, I know you said that you were kind of like adverse to sheer things that show nipples, body hair. You know, I thought I would be intimidated by this, and it just looked cool. Having the beard, there's like this fun interplay of like masculine and feminine, and there's something with contrast that's working quite well here. What I think you should consider is that since yeah. this is like a black sheer, mm. you notice it's not like totally showing everything, it's mm -hmm. kind of like a glimpse. It's a hint. It's a hint. It's and a it tease. actually looks really nice with the texture of your body hair. <laughs> yeah, it's no, like this is this is like almost like a gossamer. Mm. So it kind of goes, it actually make, makes your hair and this look like it's part of the same fabric. Wow, my body hair is a pattern. You look like you also could sell like really expensive cologne. You know, uh, I coming in, I was afraid that I was gonna look like a doofus, but I look like a dongus. <laughs> oh no, now I have to say that <laughs> stupid line. <laughs> it's a good line, people are gonna remember this line. I know he puts a lot of care and work into it. Obviously, I don't do that, it just kinda comes naturally. <laughs> Guess who tucked? Yes! 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah! Yes. Wow. Yo, your butt looks yes. good. Yes. Your butt looks good. Your butt looks good. Your butt looks Big ass Brenda. I love this top. Like the kind of like mock turtle, whatever. I don't know. It's cool. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite skirts. Now take turns sitting on me and Keith's lap. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel hot. Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. Well, that lightly open back is hot. Yeah, it is. Wow. Damn. Wow. Well, Damn. I look good. Are you feeling it? Oh my god, my ass. Right though. It looks good. It's crazy. It's good. We wear mock turtlenecks like this. It's just showing a little midriff. This is a little high, but this is pretty long. Like this is comfortably non-gender. Do you know what I mean? Like right. you're, you're pulling off, you still look like mask with the beard, but all of this illusion, this mishmash. This is the future, y'all. This is how people will be dressing in 50 years. Uh, your butt looks like an overinflated basketball. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's about to burst. Oh my god, it's humongous. It's like the it's like gonna win the biggest pumpkin contest. The skirt really makes my ass look incredible. The the little midriff moment here, I feel like is cutting me at the perfect level. It's working for me. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Ned, you look like Kanye's next divorce rebound. <laughs> Julia Fox who?
representing dun, 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 the Try Guys and dun, 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 in Eugene's clothes. Your sack, he's hot, he's a feisty little bitch. Here's Keith, he's hot, he's a hot little slut. Slut, slut. Here's Ned, it's Brenda, it's big butt Brenda. Look at Brenda, look at butt, look at booty, booty Brenda. Go Brenda, go Brenda, go Brenda, go Brenda, go Brenda, go Brenda. Go Brenda. Go Brenda. Go Brenda. Go Brenda. Back it up, drop it down, Brenda. I just remember Brenda's my stepmom's name. I'm like what a musical theater director thinks a thug should look like. <laughs> <laughs> get out of my bar! The way we drink here! We've been drinking here for 10 years, you get out, sir! Coming in here like that? <laughs>